This video will demonstrate how to create a disbursement through the Payables option. A payable is an unpaid invoice. An item has to be filled via the AP Invoice option before it appears as a payable item under the Payables grid. So I'm going to go to the Payables grid. You may use the grid options to search for specific payables if desired. The grid results are displayed in two different formats, either detail or the vendor. The detail grid format contains all the individual payable items allowing you to check mark the items you wish to pay on. If you want them all selected, you will check mark the box at the top. If you prefer to pay payables against a certain vendor, you can select the vendor format. This is a summarized format displaying the outstanding payable amount against each vendor. You check mark the vendors you want to pay on, or if you want to pay them all, check mark the top box. Once the items have been selected, so in my example, I'm going to select Office Max. <clears throat> then I'm going to click on the Post Selected option, and the Post Disbursements pop-up box appears. In my example, I chose just one vendor to post a disbursement against. So the post summary information is stating that I chose just one vendor, and there was only one outstanding invoice against it for a total of $74.99. Next are options for my disbursements, which include the disbursement date, which I'm going to change. My current period is September. And then I also have um, a grouping options here. Um, grouping by, I can group by vendor or by invoice. Grouping by vendor works similar to the classic check proc run. So only one disbursement is created for all invoices against this one vendor. Grouping by invoice allows you to generate separate disbursements by invoice for cases where you may need multiple checks for the same vendor. So we also have options to sort by na number, name, or payable entry date. And also, I only have one bank account for this district, which is my default bank account. Um, this gets set up in the admin menu under the bank account option, um, but this looks good. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and post my disbursement by clicking on the post option. And what happens is I'm going to receive a results box, and it's going to have, pull this up here, it's going to contain a reference number, any warnings or errors, and the date of my posted disbursement and the vendor tied to it. Uh, the reference number is not a check number. All disbursements, whether they're a physical check, a ACH, or an electronic uh, check type, they're all assigned a reference number on the system. If this is a physical check that needs to be printed off, I can click on the print option at the bottom here. And this is going to take me to the disbursements interface where I can then proceed with assigning and printing a check for disbursement. Please refer to the disbursement video for more information on this.